She was so small and fragile. I was even afraid to hold her in my arm because I didn't want to break her. Our friend found two fledglings. No parents were around and one was already dead. She decided that she had to save this one and called us for help. We brought her home in the night. We had no idea how to take care of baby birds. So uh, we asked around and uh, what we learned was that uh, actually you can feed wet cat food to a baby bird. And that is what we did. We mixed the cat food with some banana and tofu and she loved it. Because their feathers are, are still undeveloped. It's important for a baby bird to, to have a lot of heat. So uh, we put her in the cardboard box. Yeah, and then we just put some holes in it and put the heating around it. <laughs> and we slowly built the sparrow house in our living room. The sparrow habitat. <laughs> yeah. She immediately became a full-time project for us. Her favorite things in life is food. She's the first at the table. She <laughs> hears your thoughts when you're about to get food. <laughs> so awesome to see her grow. Yeah, visually she went through quite a change, especially her beak. It's not yellow anymore. Mm -hmm. It's more brownish. Brownish. She grew bigger, she grew more beautiful. As for her flying, uh, it was baby steps. She started with small distances and then it built slowly from there. When she started flying around, uh, that's when we knew this is it. Uh, we have to slowly find her a suitable spot to be released. We wanted to keep her safe. And since there are many cats around in our neighborhood, we ask our friends, they have a garden, and we ask if we can release her there. And they agree. So we decided for a date to release her. And the day before, I was really sad about it. I was crying. We were both afraid about what's gonna happen, but we knew it's the right thing to do. And the next day we came to the garden. We put her little house there so she could come back and, and sleep in the house if she wanted to. And then we released her. She sat on our shoulders and then she flew into the tree we thought, okay, that's it. But after a couple of seconds... <laughs> she just came back. The same thing repeated uh, day after day. It was crazy. And it changed our life for the better, I would say. So once we found out that we can take her outside and at the same time keep her safe, we can keep her home and also arrange for her to be as free as possible. This seemed like a reasonable uh, sure. compromise for her because she seems happy. <laughs> if you compare Chibi to other wild sparrows, her routine is a bit different. So she goes to sleep later than other birds and wakes up later than <laughs> other birds, you know? Yeah, she's not an early bird. <laughs> no. <laughs> when we go outside, she sits on our shoulder or on the backpack. She loves to listen to the water. Uh, she also loves to take uh, baths. She also loves to play with shells and pebbles at the beach. We could stay there for hours. We really feel connected. It's a constant feel of responsibility. I'm guessing it's close to what parents feel towards uh, their children. And we became a family, that's for sure. She's really a big part uh, of our lives, yeah.